Welcome to my business goal setting workshop for fast results. How to set three essential goals that will get you results within just one month. You are going to boost your confidence, feel like a winner and attract more success to you by achieving your goals every single time. This is my promise to you. By the end of this workshop, you will have identified the mistake that most business owners are making when it comes to goal setting and why 3G goals are the answer to rapid business growth. You will have learned the millionaire goal setting secrets that work like magic for your business. You will have discovered the secret techniques that help you manifest your goals every single time and you will have set your own 3G goals that will get you results in your business within one month. Yes, we are going to set your goals today and you've never seen anything like this before. Before we get started, I have a free gift for you. I have created a workbook that you can use to write down your goals as we go through the workshop. A Harvard business study revealed that people who have goals are 10 times more successful than those without goals. People who have written goals are three times more successful than those who don't write their goals down. You are listening to this training anyway, so why not use this time to set your own goals while we go through the workshop? And you can set, you can get my free workshop called Business Goal Setting Workbook for Fast Results at kathkyle.com forward slash goals workbook. And Kath Kyle is spelt K-A-T-H-K-Y-L. E. And you can pause this training now and go and get that. And even if you don't have a printer, you can just type straight into the document because it is a Google Docs. But don't worry if you're not, not able to do that right now, a pen and a paper will work just fine. So this workshop is part of my Stamp Goals book launch. And I will tell you a bit more about that at the end. But before that, I'm going to give you something that is going to be truly helpful for you. I'm not going to waste your time whether you buy my book or not, I want to share something of incredible value that you can use to get results straight away today. So if you stay until the end, I am going to give you a special bonus, which is 12 gifts that will help you easily achieve your goals. So who am I? I promise you this is going to be very brief. I have created so many blog posts, videos and podcasts where I have shared my story so I'm not going to waste your time doing that again now. But if you really have no clue who I am, here is a 10 second version. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing manifestation and money mindset and I've had numerous successful online businesses over the last 10 years and I've always had a passion for helping entrepreneurs to build successful businesses. So let me ask you a question. Do any of the following statements describe you? Leave me a comment letting me know which of these statements resonate with you. Number one, you avoid setting goals because you're too scared of the disappointment when you don't achieve your goals. Number two, maybe you set goals once a year for your business and then you just completely forget about them. Or number three, you regularly set goals and you're just getting demotivated because you're just not achieving them on a regular basis. So let's do a little dreaming for a minute. I want you to really imagine what I'm going to say next as just picturing your success in your mind will really help you to reprogram your subconscious mind for success. So how would you like to really feel about your business? Would you like to feel a sense of achievement every single month when you achieve all of your goals? Would you like to feel so excited knowing that your business is growing every single month? And would you like to feel full of confidence knowing your business is destined for success? So let's get started straight away. I am now going to reveal the mistake that most business owners are making when it comes to goal setting and why 3G goals are the answer to rapid business growth. 
The mistake most business owners are making is to focus exclusively on a goal that they can't control. Most business owners only have one goal that they set, which is a revenue goal. And the biggest problem with setting a revenue goal is that you don't have any control over whether or not you actually achieve that goal. And yes, there are a lot of things that you can do to improve the likelihood of you increasing your revenue, like you can work on your money mindset. And I do share a lot of these techniques that have worked well for me and others in my book, a lot of ways that you can actually manifest. And most people who teach manifestation will agree that there is no way to absolutely guarantee that the exact amount of money that you want to make is just going to fall into your lap at the exact time that you specify. And yes, it can happen sometimes. It has happened to me. I have manifested exact amounts of money that I set an intention for, and I've done this numerous times, but it doesn't work for me every single time, and it doesn't work for everybody every single time otherwise you'd just be like printing money and I believe that manifestation is a co-creation process that we have to do our bit and God or the universe also does their bit and us being human we always have things to work through so it's never going to be a guarantee that you can always get the exact amount of money at the exact time that you specify. Usually you can get the exact amount of money, but the time is the thing that is not always on your time scale. So in your personal life, yes, you can manifest money by setting intentions to receive random gifts, but this is still not something that you have complete control over. But when we start talking about manifesting or generating revenue into a business, this is where things get a little bit different. Businesses are not charities. They don't just receive gifts. They receive payments in return for something. Businesses are based on an equal exchange of value between the business and somebody else. You have to first give in order to receive when it comes to businesses. So where most business owners have it wrong is to exclusively focus on goals that enable them to get something without first focusing on what they are going to give. And I used to really struggle with goal setting when it came to my business. Every single month and every year, I would set brand new revenue goals and I would never hit any of them. And this went on for years until I started to hate goal setting. And then I just gave up on goal setting completely. So if you feel like that, I totally understand how it feels. I was there for years. And if you're at a similar place with goal setting that I was at, what I'm about to share with you is really going to help you. When we don't achieve our revenue goals month after month, this knocks our confidence. It chips away at our excitement and it ends up eroding our hope in our businesses. Failing to achieve goals in business is a major business killer. And this is really sad because what we actually need to be doing is boosting our confidence. When you start working for yourself in your own business, you have to have a really strong mindset because no one is going to pat you on the back and tell you you've done a good job. Yes, maybe if you hire a coach, they might do that maybe once a week or once a month whenever you have a coaching call with them. But most of the time, you have to motivate yourself. You have to congratulate yourself. So you need to set yourself up so that you only see your successes and not your failures. And I had such a love-hate relationship with goal setting that I knew if I didn't start to learn how to set goals in the right way, I knew that I would never be successful. So I developed a new goal setting system specifically for entrepreneurs. And I call this system Stamp Goals. And I wrote a whole book on this subject, but I am going to be sharing a part of this with you today, which is called my three G goals. So there are three goals that every business owner needs to set so that they can guarantee their success and keep their confidence and their self-worth sky high. And I'm going to briefly explain what these goals are before we set our goals together. 
So these three goals are, number one, gratitude goals. These are my own name for revenue goals. And I do still believe in setting revenue goals because businesses can't survive without money. So you need to get your mindset into the right place that you are actually going to be bringing in the type of money that you desire. But the reason that I call revenue goals gratitude goals is so that it serves as a constant reminder that we need to be grateful for our revenue because the revenue did not come from us. Number two, giving goals are the products, the services, or the value that you provide to other people. Giving goals are the things that you offer for sale in return for money. It's the result that you are helping somebody get in their own lives. And thankfully, giving goals are completely within our control. So we can use the achievement of these goals to feel good about what we are offering in our businesses. Number three, the third goal is growing goals. Growing goals are all about your mindset and your personality. It's how you feel and what you think and what you believe about yourself and your business. And it's really important to focus on your own mindset as this will determine most of your success. If you don't believe that you are worthy of achieving a particular income, then you won't achieve it no matter what goals you write down. And if you don't see yourself as a consistent, motivated person, then you won't take the actions needed to offer a product for sale and to market that product. And you'll end up just giving up on your business. Growing goals are also completely within your control. And a lot of people struggle to make the time for their own personal growth, even though, in my opinion, this is the most important goal of them all. So I want to share one millionaire goal setting secret that will work like magic in your business if you apply this. Most millionaires have really big visions. They have always seen themselves achieving big things in the future, even when they're just starting out. Millionaires project ahead many, year, many years into the future and decide what they want their businesses to look like in five years or 10 years time. And this is a strategy that always worked well for me too. When you focus your gaze at your success in the future, all of the decisions you make right now will lead to the manifestation of that future goal. When you start thinking big right now, even though you don't yet have big results, it really brings success to you much quicker. I call these big future goals mammoth goals because they really seem so crazy right now that they're just too massive to contemplate. Really big mammoth goals can scare a lot of people and I totally understand this. So that's why I encourage people to also set manageable goals at the same time as they set mammoth goals. So what are manageable goals? Manageable goals are goals that feel like they are easy to manage within the next one to 12 months in the short term. So if you're currently making no money at all, then just getting one sale in the next three months may feel totally manageable to you. Just focusing on one small improvement at a time is a great way to boost your confidence. And confidence is essential to create a successful business. So doing everything that you can do to boost your confidence should be the biggest focus for you at all stages of your business. Now I'm going to move on to the secret techniques that help you manifest your goals every time. So we've already discussed that gratitude goals are out of our control. So what we need to do is lose attachment to achieving those within a particular time frame, And that means that when you think about the revenue that you want to make, hold a certainty that you will make that amount of money sometime in the future, but you're totally relaxed about when that money comes to you. Losing attachment to the date that the money comes to you actually attracts the money to you faster. When you're feeling less desperate and controlling and more grateful for any income that you're receiving, 
or any signs of life within your business, like for example, new followers, this attitude of gratitude brings more things into your business to be grateful for. So what I encourage people to do is set their mammoth gratitude goal and then set it to one side and then focus on the short term achievement of the other two goals, which are the giving goals and the growing goals. Here's what I like to do with giving goals to make sure that I always achieve them. I decide what I would like to create within a certain period of time, which is one to three months. So for example, you might like to create a mini course within one month and you think it's going to take you um, one month to create a mini course. The problem that when we set work for ourselves is that humans by nature always think that they can work at double the speed that they actually can. And on top of that, tasks always crop up that we didn't expect that add additional time onto our tasks. So what I like to do is triple the amount of time that I give myself for achieving a particular project. And when you decide on a project, write down all of the tasks that you can think of that will be needed to get it done. Then decide realistically how long you think this whole process is going to take and how much time you are willing to allocate to each task. And if I think it's going to take one month to get a mini course created, then what I'd like to do is triple it and give myself three months instead. When you triple the time that you are giving yourself, you'll remove the stress from you, which helps you enjoy your work a lot more. You'll probably finish early, which will be a massive boost to your confidence and you'll feel like a high achiever rather than an overworked failure for not getting the work done on time. So now let's move on to growing goals, how to always achieve your growing goals. So say for example, you have a growing goal to start being more consistent and there are two ways to achieve this goal. What you do first is to remember that you've already been consistent in the past. Write a big long list of all of the times that you've shown consistency in the past, even when you were a child learning to read and write, for example. Once you've completed this exercise, you'll realize that you already are consistent. So now you just need to step into that consistency and prove that you still have what it takes to be consistent. So the second task is to set yourself mini tasks each day where you can demonstrate yourself being consistent. Make this really easy to achieve. If you can notice something that you are already doing that shows you are being consistent. For example, do you consistently brush your teeth every day? So the answer is yes, probably. If so, you are being consistent. So take this off a checklist every day and feel proud of yourself for being consistent. And I know this sounds a bit silly, but often we are telling ourselves lies about who we really are. We are beating ourselves up for not being the kind of person who is successful when actually we already have what it takes to be successful. We just need to start telling ourselves a different story in our heads so we believe positive things about ourselves rather than negative things. I'm so excited because the time has now come for you to set your own 3G goals. So pause this video after I ask each question so you can write down your own 3G goals. And I encourage you to write down your goals in your workbook and keep them in a special place so you won't lose them. And if you want to share them, you can also share them in the comments below the video workshop on my website because you might be listening to this somewhere else. And I will check back to the comments box and read your goals and I will also answer any questions that you might have. So leave any questions in the comment box. So what we're going to start off doing is setting your gratitude goal for the next 10 years. Although you can set gratitude goals for the short term, 
If you aren't feeling confident right now, the best thing you can do is work on building your confidence. And you do this by putting short-term revenue to the back of your mind and focus your mind on the long-term success instead. So now what I want you to do is imagine your business in 10 years time. If you lived in a perfect world and you are the perfect person with the perfect abilities and all conditions were perfect, what would your business look like? Who would you be serving and what would you be offering? What kind of revenue would be life changing for you? What figure would you have to make to say to yourself, I've made it, my business is wildly successful. Whatever amount comes into your mind first, write that down straight away in your workbook. Don't talk yourself out of it and don't let fear stand in your way. Remember, this is your dream business and that means that you will have developed into the kind of person who can handle this kind of success and you'll have your perfect support system in place to help you manage this. So whatever amount first came into your mind is your future self guiding you to your purpose. So pause this video right now if you need to. Don't think about it for too long and don't talk yourself out of it. Commit to your long-term vision and commit it to paper, write it down and share it in the comments too if you like. Now, if you're starting to doubt yourself or feeling fear, now you can let go of that revenue and let go of any associated stress that you have projected onto that revenue because you have 10 whole years to get there you're not in a hurry. You have all the time in the world to enjoy living your purpose. So now it's time to set your giving goals. Think back to that person who you'd like to serve. What is a quick win that you could give them in the next three months? What small result could you provide for them? How could you help someone to change their mindset about something in the short term? What service or small product could you offer to someone that would improve someone's life in the next three months? So try and choose a project that you think that you could get done realistically within one month so that you ensure that you do actually get it done within three months and you feel really good that you've achieved your goal. Three months is a good amount of time to focus on a small project because it keeps you very focused and it doesn't feel like so long away in the future that you're going to end up procrastinating and it's not too short that you're going to end up getting stressed about a looming deadline. So write down your giving goal in your workbook right now and if you want to also share it in the comments. I'm really looking forward to seeing what your goals are. So now you are going to set your growing goal. So what should you choose for your growing goal? Maybe you already have something in mind, but if you don't, here is a technique I like to use to figure out which growing goal to set. When I asked you to think about how much money you wanted to make in 10 years time, you might have had some resistance to that. Perhaps a thought entered your head as to why you're not the type of person to make that kind of money. Maybe you said something like, I'm just not organized enough to run a business that big or I don't have enough confidence to run that kind of company or I am not good enough with money to manage that kind of money or I'm not good enough communicating to earn that kind of money. Whatever reason your mind is coming up with as to why you're not the type of person to earn that type of money, that is your growing goal and that is what you're going to focus on for the next 30 days. When I did this exercise myself, the word that came up to me was responsibility. I didn't see myself as responsible enough and I didn't want the extra responsibility of this kind of income. This is my disbelief which is holding me back from manifesting my desires. So I did the work to let go of this. So this is what I want you to do. This is what I did to let go of my disbelief. I wrote my list of all of the ways that I have been responsible in the past and I decided to focus on any areas that I am being responsible every single day. So every day when I took my kids to school, made their lunches to take to school, got them to bed in the evening, helped them with their reading, I remind myself that I am being responsible. 
by the end of the month, I was feeling the exact opposite to the way I felt at the start of the month. And I felt like a very responsible person. And I had the evidence written down to prove how responsible I had been and I was currently being. And this is the way to remove blockages in a very powerful way. And I have a streak tracker in one of the free gifts that I give as part of my book bonus bundle that you can use to tick off your growing goals every day. So write down your growing goal in your workbook right now and if you like you can always share it in the comments as well and I have recapped all of this in the workbook so you don't have to worry if you're not remembering everything right now. So I just wanted to check in with you and see how you're feeling now. So now you know where you may have been going wrong with goal setting in the past. You were focused on goals that you had no control over. You were setting yourself up for fit for failure and disappointment and not focusing on goals that are easily achievable and that will boost your confidence. And confidence is the main driver for success. So if you can learn to work on feeling a sense of achievement and confidence in your business, you'll see your business soar to greater heights. You've also learned that the secret most millionaires use when it comes to setting their goals is to always have a big vision in your mind about the future of your business, regardless of what stage you are up to right now. And you have also discovered the secret to manifesting your goals every single time, which is to focus on short term goals, manageable goals that you can control and make it super easy to achieve. And you make it easy to achieve your giving goals by tripling the time that you think it's going to take to complete a project. And you make it easy to achieve your growing goal by realizing that you are already being the person that you need to be and therefore removing blocks to your own success. You have also committed your 3G goals to paper and therefore you are 10 times more likely to achieve your goals than people who don't set goals and you are three times more likely to achieve your goals than people who don't write down their goals. So you're already destined for success. Congratulations. So hopefully you can see that what I've shared with you today is an absolute game changer for the success of your business. And this is just the start. So would you like to supercharge the results you get in your business even more? If you would, then I have something very exciting to share with you. I'd like to introduce you to my signature book called Stamp Goals. I have developed a unique goal setting framework specifically for entrepreneurs to help them put their stamp on the world in just 30 days. And this book is not your typical theory book. This is a course inside a book and it gives you 30 action steps to take on a daily basis for 30 days to help you set goals and actually achieve them. And if I had created a course out of this book, I could have easily sold it for $1,000 or more as this is the going rate for the amount of value that is in this product. But I wanted to make this accessible to as many entrepreneurs as I could because I want to spread my goal setting system far and wide and really put it on the map. And I know this book is a total game changer for the business world as we know it. And I need your help to make that a reality. Entrepreneurs have never had a goal setting system that actually works for them. All of the traditional ways of setting goals just don't work for entrepreneurs because we are in business to transform lives and therefore we need a goal setting system that reflects it. So what do you get inside the book? Chapter one, how I figured out how to achieve goals. How my revenue increased when I stopped working on my business. The harder I worked, the less success I had how I lost my faith in goal setting, how I got magical results with something counterintuitive and how I figured out how to finally achieve my goals. Chapter two, 10 reasons why goal setting hasn't worked for you, why you've been doing goal setting all wrong, why setting one goal for your business isn't enough, why setting goals for your business is different from setting personal goals. 
Chapter 3 Why Goal Achievement is Inevitable for You I reveal exactly where your desires come from and why you have them. The secret about our mind that most people don't know that makes goal achievement inevitable. How to be open to receiving million dollar ideas that are right for you. Chapter 4 How Stamp Changes Goal Setting Forever how the STAMP goal setting framework helps entrepreneurs to achieve their goals, the missing elements from your goals that are essential for business success, and how to write STAMP goals to transform your life and your business. Chapter 5, 3G, three essential goals for a successful business. Why most business owners lose control over their goals as soon as they've set them. Why basing your entire business on just revenue goals only leads to disappointment. The three essential goals that all business owners need to set to successfully achieve their goals. Chapter 6. The Ramp to Stamp. Why focusing on what you don't want can help you find your purpose. How to design your dream life and why it's so important to slot your business into your perfect day. How to soar to success with one powerful exercise to help you find your purpose in life and find that perfect business for you. Chapter 7. Put your stamp on the world. Discover the difference between your personal wealth and your business revenue and why they do not have to be related to each other. Find out how gratitude goals are the key to never feeling out of control with your goals again. How to allocate personal and business revenue with the 40% income rule. Discover exactly how much revenue you should set as a business goal by focusing on both manageable and mammoth goals. How to always feel good about your goal achievement with fab goals. Why giving goals need to be achieved before you can make money. Discover the purposeful offer you need to be creating in your business. Discover how growing goals are the missing goals that will transform everything in your business and your life. How to write goal achievement statements that get results fast and include essential elements missing from most goal statements. Why changing your goals is expected and how often you should change them. Chapter 8. The Stamp Toolbox. These are the goal achievement boosters. The one tool that will help you speak your goals into existence. One powerful process that makes your dream a reality. An important daily practice for bringing what you want into your business. How to easily let go of everything that's holding you back from achieving your goals. My secret method for solving all of my problems and getting answers to all questions relating to achieving my goals. How to be constantly motivated to work on your goals without waiting for a boss to pat you on the back. The way to thoroughly enjoy the process of working towards your goals and be happy living your purpose every day. The lazy way to success that actually works. How to sleep your way to success. Chapter nine, creating your stamp plan. The difference between tons and success rituals. Two types of tasks that you need to be working on every day in your business. Why growing your audience should never be your goal if you want to run a profitable business. And how to overlap success rituals to save time working on your stamp plan. Chapter 10. How to make goal achievement a habit. How perfect time outlines keep you goal focused at all times. Why stamp reflections are the key to constant growth in your business. How time stamping your day will make sure that you never forget about your goals. Why the Opportunity Decision Maker tool will help you say no to anything that tempts you away from working on your goals. So as you can see, I'm sharing so much within this book. There is no fluff in this book. This is like a course in a book. And that's not all you get. As my thank you to you for purchasing Stamp Goals book, I am also giving you free access to all of the following book bonuses in this free bonus bundle. Make goal achievement a habit with the Stamp Planner. Set business goals you actually achieve with the Stamp Workbook. Easily complete Stamp Goals in just 30 days with the Stamp 
challenge. Get access to my private customers only members group with a free dedicated app and support to complete the 30 steps within the book. I'm not going to leave you hanging. 100 ways to celebrate your wins cheat sheet so that you can keep your vibes high. 100 plus goal setting affirmations, brain stamps proven to rewire your brain for success. 100 plus success mantras that will make the achievement of your goals inevitable. 100 plus business gratitude list to help attract more business to you. 1000 plus personality traits lists to help you choose your own success personality type. My spiritual music playlist so that you can play during your morning and evening goal achievement routines. My guided meditation transformation to motivate you to rewire your own brain for success. Customers come constantly. Motivating morning meditation guided brain stamps audio to attract clients continuously. And 400 plus positive emotions list, choose your emotions and change your life. And I also wanted to give you another free gift. I would love for you to purchase my book and then leave me a review on Amazon and take a screenshot of your Amazon review and email it to me at support at Kath kyle.com and I will send you a special gift in return. I am giving you one of my bundles called Money Time that currently sells for $119 and it is going up on a regular basis in price and this contains two full courses called Millionaire Mindset Takeover and Time Expander and these help you develop the mindset of a millionaire and create more time so that you can achieve your really big gratitude goals. Your mindset is what determines your success so it is critical to get your mind in the right place for success. So if you go to Amazon, search for Stamp Goals Book by Kath Kyle to see my book or you can click the link surrounding this workshop or this video or audio, wherever you're listening to this, there will be a link surrounding it. Or you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash stamp book. Or you can just go to my website, kathkyle.com and click on the products and you will get it that way. And I can't wait to see you become the goal achiever that you were born to be. Now go and put your stamp on the world.